Welcome back, dear viewers. Whether you're a regular here or new to our channel, we're thrilled to have you join us today. In this video, we're going to delve into the life and wisdom of one of history's greatest inventors and thinkers, Thomas Edison. And yes, we'll be discussing the quote that has inspired countless individuals, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. I'm sure many of you have faced challenges and moments of doubt, just like Edison did. But did you know that his journey was full of fascinating twists and turns? Stick around as we explore his remarkable story and the lessons we can glean from it. Before we dive in, here's a question to ponder, what qualities do you think are essential for achieving success? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's turn our attention to the man behind the quote. Thomas Edison was more than just a prolific inventor, he was a pioneer of innovation, with a knack for turning ideas into reality. And speaking of reality, did you know that Edison once said, I have friends in overalls whose friendship I would not swap for the favor of the kings of the world? I guess that's Edison's way of saying that true friendship is priceless, no matter what you're wearing. All right, let's rewind the clock and step into Edison's early years. Thomas Alva Edison's story began on February 11, 1847, in Milan, Ohio. Growing up in the bustling town of Port Huron, Michigan, he showed a curiosity and a knack for experimentation that would become his trademark. Even as a child, Edison was driven by an insatiable curiosity about the world around him. This curiosity often led him to dismantle household items just to understand how they worked. And, well, not every parent appreciates their child turning their living room into a workshop. Edison's mother, Nancy, was a former teacher, and she nurtured his inquisitive nature by homeschooling him. This early foundation provided Edison with the tools he needed to explore his interests further. As Edison grew older, his insatiable curiosity was matched by an unyielding determination. His mother's teachings, coupled with his insatiable desire to learn, set the stage for his journey into the world of invention and innovation. However, his early years were far from smooth sailing. Edison faced challenges that tested his resilience. His hearing loss, which began during his childhood and progressively worsened, made traditional education difficult for him. Yet, instead of allowing this setback to hinder his progress, Edison channeled his energy into reading, experimentation, and hands-on learning. Edison's formal education was brief, and he was mostly homeschooled by his mother. But this unconventional education allowed him to pursue his interests freely and to cultivate an independent way of thinking. By the time he was a teenager, he had already started his journey as an inventor, setting up a laboratory in his family's basement. Edison's early experiences ignited a lifelong passion for learning and discovery. But he didn't embark on this journey alone. Throughout his career, he forged partnerships and collaborations that would prove instrumental in his groundbreaking work. One of the most significant partnerships in Edison's life was his collaboration with a group of talented scientists and inventors at the Menlo Park Laboratory in New Jersey. Edison transformed this laboratory into an invention factory, where groundbreaking ideas were brought to life. Among the brilliant minds Edison worked with were Charles Batchelor, Francis Upton, and William Kennedy Laurie Dixon. Together, they tackled challenges in various fields, from telegraphy to phonography. Edison's collaborative spirit thrived in this environment, as he fostered an atmosphere of teamwork and creativity. The journey towards electric lighting began long before Edison's time. In 1800, Italian inventor Alessandro Volta introduced the world to the electric battery, which sparked the potential for controlled electric lighting. Sir Humphrey Davy's arc lamp in the early 1800s was another significant step, followed by the efforts of inventors like Warren de la Rue, who developed an efficiently designed light bulb in 1840 using a coiled platinum filament in place of copper, but the high cost of platinum kept the bulb from becoming a commercial success. Fast forward a decade, when English chemist Joseph Swan made strides in creating a practical incandescent lamp. Swan's lamp used carbonized paper filaments, demonstrating the viability of electric lighting in homes. 
It was during this period that Edison entered the scene. He embarked on his journey to create a commercially viable incandescent lamp, and in the late 1870s, he and Joseph Swan independently achieved breakthroughs. In fact, they joined forces, forming the Edison Swan United Electric Light Company. The quest to create a practical incandescent light bulb was a race that many inventors were vying to win. Edison famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. His perseverance and countless experiments led him closer to his goal. It was in the late 1870s that Edison and his team at the Menlo Park Laboratory achieved a major breakthrough they developed a carbon filament that could withstand the high temperatures required for incandescence. This marked a turning point in Edison's pursuit of practical electric lighting. On October 21, 1879, Edison's incandescent light bulb illuminated a workspace at the Menlo Park Laboratory for an astonishing 13.5 hours. This demonstration captured the world's attention and marked the birth of a new era of illumination. Simply put, Without it we would all be watching TV by candlelight. Edison's incandescent light bulb revolutionized society. The once dimly lit world was now ablaze with safe, accessible lighting. Homes, businesses, and streets were illuminated, transforming daily life and fueling economic growth. Edison also partnered with financiers and businessmen, such as J.P. Morgan and Samuel Insull to establish the first electric power distribution systems. These partnerships were instrumental in bringing electricity to homes, businesses, and cities, forever changing the landscape of modern living. Edison's collaboration with his associate William Dixon gave birth to the kinetoscope, an early motion picture device. Their joint efforts resulted in the creation of short films, marking the beginning of the motion picture industry. Edison's partnerships exemplified the power of collaboration and collective thinking. His ability to assemble diverse teams and harness their skills played a crucial role in his ability to tackle complex problems and achieve remarkable feats. Edison's inventions didn't just brighten up our world, they ignited a wave of innovation that rippled through generations. His work in communication and electricity laid the foundation for the modern world we know today and his spirit of perseverance resonates with aspiring inventors and entrepreneurs who dare to dream big. Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. It's this attitude that makes him a beacon of determination for all of us. Edison's inventive genius produced groundbreaking technologies that revolutionized the way we live. As his inventions gained traction and commercial value, protecting their rights became crucial in the competitive world of innovation. Edison was no stranger to patent wars, fierce legal disputes that centered around patent rights. Edison's drive for meticulous documentation and relentless pursuit of patent protection led him into courtroom battles that would shape the future of the electric industry. Perhaps one of the most famous patent battles was over the incandescent light bulb. Edison filed his patent in 1879, but other inventors, most notably Joseph Swan, were also in the race to develop a practical light bulb. A transatlantic patent dispute between Edison and Swan was eventually resolved through a cooperation agreement, leading to the formation of Edison Swan United. Edison's rivalry with George Westinghouse and Nikola Tesla gave rise to the War of Currents, a fierce competition over the future of electrical power distribution. Edison championed direct current, DC, while Westinghouse and Tesla promoted alternating current, AC. Legal battles between General Electric, Edison's company, and Westinghouse Electric became emblematic of this ongoing struggle. Edison employed an array of legal strategies to protect his inventions. He fiercely defended his patents and was known for asserting them vigorously in court. However, Edison's approach was not without controversy, as he sometimes resorted to aggressive tactics, including spreading misinformation about the dangers of AC. Edison's legal battles not only shaped the course of his career but also had a lasting impact on the industries he touched. The resolution of these disputes, often through compromise or mutual agreements, paved the way for the widespread adoption of his technologies and the evolution of modern electrical systems. 
Edison's influence extended beyond the realm of science and technology. He lived during a period of rapid industrialization and social change. The late 19th century was a time of great transformation, and Edison's innovations played a pivotal role in shaping this era. His work also left an indelible mark on popular culture, making him a household name synonymous with invention and progress. Edison's legacy is as enduring as the light his inventions brought to the world. His contributions continue to inspire inventors, scientists, and thinkers of all ages. His spirit of resilience and relentless pursuit of solutions have become guiding principles for those seeking to make a positive impact. From the phonograph to the motion picture camera, Edison's innovations have woven themselves into the fabric of our lives. Edison's ingenuity did not go unnoticed. His groundbreaking work earned him recognition and accolades from around the world. In 1928, he was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for his contributions to society. One of the most prestigious honors named after Edison is the Edison Medal. Established in 1904, this medal recognizes outstanding achievements in the electrical industry. The Edison Medal has been awarded to some of the most influential figures in science and engineering. Nikola Tesla, 1916. Alexander Graham Bell, 1919. Marie Curie, 1921. Albert Einstein, 1937. Vannevar Bush, 1943. Charles F. Kettering, 1946. Werner von Braun, 1969. Robert Noyce, 1978. Neil Armstrong, 1981. Another tribute to Edison's enduring impact is the Edison Award, which celebrates innovation in various fields. This award honors individuals and organizations that exemplify Edison's spirit of creativity and problem solving. Walt Disney, 1957. Steve Jobs, 1997. Elon Musk, 2008. Jeff Bezos, 2014. Mark Zuckerberg, 2017. Beyond his inventions, Edison's journey offers a treasure trove of life lessons. One of his most profound teachings is encapsulated in the quote we started with, Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Edison's unwavering determination and ability to learn from failures inspire us to persevere, to keep trying, and to embrace setbacks as stepping stones to success. As Edison's journey came to an end, his legacy was already firmly established. He passed away in 1931, leaving behind a world forever transformed by his innovative spirit. His work continues to shape our lives and the way we experience the world. But perhaps his greatest legacy is the mindset he advocated, a mindset of curiosity, resilience, and the unshakable belief that challenges are opportunities in disguise. And so, we conclude our journey through the life, wisdom, and legacy of Thomas Edison. From his humble beginnings to his groundbreaking inventions, Edison's story is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and perseverance. His words and deeds continue to inspire us to strive for greatness, to dream big, and to always keep trying, one more time. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining us on this enlightening expedition. If you found Edison's story as captivating as we did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming explorations of remarkable individuals and their legacies. Until next time, keep the spirit of invention alive and remember, the journey of a thousand tries begins with just one more.